That's feels wow. rare nowadays. Usually everybody's just like PS2, yeah, PS2. Yeah, you know what? And you know, I, it's probably honestly because I'm not good. I'll just be like, do you want to go to <laughs> PS2? They'll be like, no. I'll be like, where do you want to go? And as long as they don't say Battlefield, which I hate, I'll be like, yeah. sure, let's do it. And then you'll go to PS2 yeah. and I'll be happy as a yeah, Belmont because I, I got space to work with. Right. <laughs> <laughs> just throw things at me. Just or with. <laughs> yeah. Just keep me away. Yeah, I just. Yeah. <laughs> it depends on the character. Right. Yeah, I'm a Zelda main. Uh, the, the Belmonts oh. for me are either like I can. They're, they're either go really well or really poorly, kind of depending on their play style. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I got to go projectile light against Zelda. Yeah, if you correct, and you keep, I, you keep me away with that whip. I want to yep. throw my controller, but uh, the <laughs> second I see you about to chuck a cross, I can I can get you with the teleport pretty quick. Yep. All right, just like you thought, Banjo's out here. We got a few animals beating the crap out of each other here. Starting with a squirtle, a bear, and a bird. Let's see what goes on here. Yep, right now, Tojo just trying to find that one opening so he can get a good combo, but Shaman just doing what he can to keep Tojo away. Nice charge on that to call out good the spot dodge. Patient. He keeps getting the hits, but he can't follow up just because of the awkward spacing that Shaman's been keeping at. There it is. Yep, and here comes. Oh, just uh, misread the way he was going to end up. And, uh, Get the tree like combo battle like he was hoping. Yep. Here we go, racking up even more damage, and now comes the Ivy Sword. Let's get the leafy one out and see what happens. Uh, great job, almost getting the, the two hit aerial combo on, but yep. attempt to juggle, but uh, Shamal doing a good job of uh, the falling aerial. Man, that over B. I don't. I have not played much banjo, but that is sick. How just shoot, yeah. How, how strong that thing is, and also how much armor it has. Yeah, it's completely invincible, so I, I, you gotta shield it. I can't, is there, are there any moves that are, are that is invincible in the game? I don't. Not to my knowledge, no. <laughs> and there you go. Yeah. It's 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 nuts. I mean, honestly, I think if you didn't have that, it's uh, the character's not. Oh, oh. no. Dodge gonna kill. Yeah, and literally the second you see that thing, you're just like, yep. run away. <laughs> you don't Spot dodge, get back to legend. <laughs> Throwing it out there again. How do the feathers work? So he has five uses of it. Once all five are gone, those feathers, then it doesn't work anymore. Like until the end of the stock, or they until the end of the charge, like other. No, okay. So you die, you get all you the get feathers. Five back. per stock. That's correct. Okay, so, I mean, so now he's got all. Yep, so out you of can it. see all the feathers yeah. are back now. So, so those five are gone. You just don't have an, an overview. Right. Interesting. They just hide away. So you definitely got to keep track of that, both players, honestly. tied up here, but uh. Oh, tried to get it off, but it's not invincible at the startup. So if you can get close enough to punish it, get in there and just contest it. No, I didn't notice. Did he lose a feather for starting it, or did he not officially start it? Did didn't like, officially look, start so it. Did, yep, that was the first one. And that killed and again, cross that, stage two. Yeah, that killed mid stage against a. Decent weight character in Ivysaur, so yeah, yep. like I said, it, it's strong as hell. And Sham's just mixing up between projectiles, attacks, and just keeping Tojo on the defensive entirely here. Because, like, he's trying to hop in, but these projectiles just keep on popping them. Yeah. There we go. Respect it. That's one thing you always got to keep in mind. It's like, if he's Ooh. above the stage, you have to respect that recovery. But if he's below it, feel free to go out there and punish yep. him. Yep. It's like, I, man, I don't know. It's uh, and it. Oh, wow, that bird just grab him by the neck and smack him off the stage. He did yeah. a few times, man. Regal Great bash. patience with it too. Regal bash hits hard. Yeah. Interesting game there, actually. That's that I've uh, I've played a little bit. I had to take a take a the weekend off. I haven't played much since Banjo's come out. So uh, other yeah. than the. the First time I hopped online and I only played banjos for you know about a night. Yeah. I haven't I haven't experienced him too much, so um, it's, it's pretty interesting character I think. Uh, he said he does a good job yep. of having those projectiles that will kind of keep you away. Does a good job spacing, but then can smack the hell out of you if you if you make one wrong move when you're, when you're up, yeah. up close. So, so basically, snake. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, because <laughs> it feels like he's a snake-like character because the projectiles are good at keeping you out. Projectiles he's got, explode. Yep, good <laughs> burst options. Ooh, making the switch to to Palutena. Oh, yep. straight off into the spin cycle. Good combo to, to get things started off. Already up 50 or 60 to, to nothing right now and, and trying to keep the lead. Yep. This is going to be a hard part for Shannon, just finding a way in because it's not like you can reliably use those projectiles anymore. All right. Oh, and. 
able to spot dodge. Yeah, he's, he's been great with that tonight. Half off, we're gonna see some explosive flame trying to keep him away. And yep. That's the one thing, the recover with that is also pretty slow. So, I mean, as well as a free, uh, Ooh. Free move to get you back over the stage. It doesn't guarantee you're going to be safely on it. Exactly. If your opponent's ready for it, it is easily punishable. Right, and I, I think that uh, I think that Tojo is absolutely ready for it after he, he got just absolutely beat by it a, a few times, and that's something he's going to respect, I think, from here on out. Yeah, and Tojo's just doing a really good job right now testing Shaman in the air. That's, I feel, what's given him the most problem because usually he's able to kind of bully with his aerial. But with the Nair coming out from Tojo, it's difficult for him to contest because of that disjoint it has. There we go. It's just it's just so tough when you're when you're so used to being able to contest people coming back onto the stage laterally yep. like that. <laughs> or if you try and use a projectile. Ooh, did he just taunt it? Oh, he's gonna be taunting after every stock. Ooh, nice catch of the air dodge there. Oh! <laughs> Man, just the tip of that, and especially up high, absolutely deadly. Yeah, and this change definitely working out very well for Tojo. Just the nears and the catching of all these aerial approaches is just really hurting Shaman's game plan right now. And the scary thing is, it's like Shaman can't fall back on the projectiles too safely because there's always the threat of that explosive flame. Holy cow. And the thing is, that, that, that's such a good move for for, for Banjo, but again, I, I think that the way his character is, especially when you're playing someone like like Paul Utena, you, have to, you start relying on it too much. And then yep. when it starts to get stale and they start to read it, you're in trouble. So, exactly. I mean, I, again, I, I, haven't, I haven't seen too much of the character. And it's, a, I think it's kind of tough to see where the meta is going to go with it. I don't, I don't see Banjo being considered one of the, the more competitive yeah. characters like you see with a lot of the other DLC that comes out. But yeah, I feel like knows. he's going to be mid-high at the very least. Yeah, I mean, he's, I think he's fun. <laughs> you know, but it looks like it looks like a blast to play. So. Yeah, they did a really good job of carrying his movement over from the game he's from. Yeah. Because it just feels like you're playing a banjo game with yeah. him. Yeah. Okay, going to a smaller stage here. And I'd assume, uh, does, uh, Sham make the counter pick here, or does he stick with? That's the question, because he does have a Pikachu that he can go to, but I'm not sure how well Pikachu does against Battle. And looks but like we're he's about a shot. Yep, gonna find out. I mean, I don't know how well it does against Palu, but I can I can say that I I think it's better than Banjo for yeah. sure. So, at the very least, he'll be able to get in and out much quicker. So, being able to punish the few windows that Palu leaves, that's gonna be key. Was he a Pika main like before he started picking up Banjo, or was he? Uh, he was originally a DK from Smash 4, switched over to Pikachu, and once Banjo came out, he switched immediately. Okay, well, let's, I mean, so let's be real. I mean, even if he had a, a Banjo, this is Pika has been a whole lot, a little more seasoned. I mean, Banjo, he's yep. only been playing for a week, and I know these players who are as good as some of these guys here can pick up a pretty character pretty pretty well, but there's a reason why people have mains to play. So, yep. um, we'll, we'll kind of see how, how it works out for everyone. Yep. Right now, Shannon just trying to find some way to poke in with an aerial here. And fortunately for him, a lot of those aerials are really safe on shield, so it's going to be hard for Tojo to get a punish. Read that, read that perfectly to, to forward smash right off the stage, but they, they could get up an approach to, to kind of take stage control back, keep Pikachu right back on the edge. And, oh! Barely oh missing with that. I think that would have done it with how close to how far off yep. they were. Oh, good air dodge, just barely avoiding that kick. Now Shannon finally getting the stage control for a moment there. Not able to catch landing on the platform. Man, that yeah, that's gonna kill Right over her head, out of the last zone, and takes the first stock. Pretty high here if you're, if you're Shaman, you're not you're not stressing too much. Ooh, try to try to the charge. But. Yeah. He's really looking hard for those kills yeah. right now. Nice! Confirmed. Wow, was that a, a down smash all the way down to the ground, bounced her back up to the top platform, and then a, and a up forward. smash. Was that an up uh, smash? Yep. It started out. Up smash. Just up smash to kill? Up smash to kill. Just, okay. So down smash to the up smash. Interesting. I liked it. That was fun. 
Yeah, but right now, Shaman's got to find some way to get in safely again, because Tojo's starting to understand his movement with Pikachu. Just trying to poke in, but Tojo wise enough to jump out of the way of those Thunder Jolts. Never want to give Pikachu that free shield grab. You don't. I think a lot of times, you know, when you're playing Pikachu, you have to uh, really be able to switch up how, how you uh, how you recover and how you DI out of anything that can be combo. combo. Yep. Um, Pikachu is combos. So, yeah. <laughs> Pikachu is so good at um, really just following you up in the air and, and, and stringing those along. But, um, yeah, I think Tojo doing a great job of keeping that at bay. This Ooh, Ooh. Actually able to catch him before the warp comes out. Caught him teleporting on stage. Sure Still not enough. Trying to, to two frame him there and missed her. Read that one. Oh, the wrong way. That may have actually connected if he had gone right instead of left. And these backers are just really shutting out Shaman right now because a lot of his aerials don't have enough disjoint to deal with that. Oh! <laughs> I was like, don't get up, don't do it! <laughs> That's always the worst when you see it coming in your I brain. Know. It's like, let me just do my standard autopilot yeah. option. <laughs> That's the most frustrating thing in the world. Able to oh. jump out of the way of that. Nice cross up, but gets hit by the back air. Yeah, he's getting really antsy with some of these smash attacks. There we go. One finally connects, so Shaman at least evens up the stocks here. Now the challenge is just going to be staying alive long enough to be able to even things attack out the center. Never mind. Bye bye. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> He well, got at least three or four kills that way. Yeah, yeah, and I said it was definitely a, a definitely.